Hello Libra, welcome to another love reading. Today we're going to be talking about what you can expect in love. So let's see what we get for you for Libra. Spirit, angels, guides, messages, please, guidance for Libra. What can Libra expect? And Libra expects her regarding love. What can Libra expect in love? Okay, we have the Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Why am I seeing the tower? The sun? Okay. What else for Libra? What do we need to know? Or what is coming towards Libra? The Empress. Okay. Bottom of the deck, the Two of Swords. Well, at first, this looks really great. I see growth, opportunity, creativity, passion. Um, the Queen of Wands, what she wants, she gets. Somebody could be admiring you here with the Queen of Wands and the Empress. These two cards, I, it's, it's like look at me cards. So um, we'll clarify those in a second and see what those are all about. What else? What else for Libra, please, sir? What do we need to know? What's coming towards Libra? Lasting promise, commitment, longevity, future, this connection will stand the test of time. Sweet dreams and wedding bells. So something here, we're definitely with marriage, engagement, commitments. These two cards are like my commitment cards from my Stellar Energy Oracle deck. So either this connection will lead to long-term commitment, or there's already an existing commitment somewhere here. Whether with you, whether with this other person, I don't wanna to jump to third party um, interference just yet, especially because Sweet Dreams is here. This is a card about like your dreams becoming reality. So it could be that this is exactly what you need, something that makes you very happy, especially because the sun is here. But I saw the tower when I saw that Queen of Wands. So I'm just kind of, there's like an undercurrent here of like, there's more to this than maybe the tarot is showing me right now. So let's see, why is the Queen of Wands here, Spirit? Why is the Queen of Wands here? The Page of Cups. Oh yeah, I definitely feel like this could be somebody that notices you, is attracted to you. You have the Emperor, Aries energy, could be a masculine energy that wants to offer you this cup. Yeah, King of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. Ten of Swords at the bottom of the deck. See, there's like something else here that I don't really see just yet. Hopefully, the more we clarify, we'll get more insight. But someone's definitely interested in you, Libra. Someone has feelings for you. They could be wanting to apologize. This Page of Cups with this Ten of Swords. Or they're just drawn to you, interested. And they could be headed towards you this month. Tell me about the sun. Why is the sun here? The Ten of Swords again. See, there's something, maybe there was already a separation in the past. Tell me about the sun. The High Priestess. Secrets, hidden knowledge, intuitive energy, and judgment. Holy crap. The high priestess with judgment to me is like Eureka. <laughs> Huge epiphany. Um, something that's revealed out in the open. Something that hits someone, you know, like 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 getting hit by a train. Um Especially because the High Priestess and the Sun, to me, they're like opposing energies. The High Priestess is very quiet, secretive. The Sun's out there, radiant. 
You cannot ignore the sun, right? So I feel like there's something else here. I'm going to clarify that judgment card as well. Tell me about judgment. Judgment is about awakenings, realizations over the past, rebirth, revivals. You're understanding something. And then that, that kind of um, helps you graduate with the world that comes right after it. Tell me about judgment. King of Wands. Yeah, so whatever this is, someone's going to act on it. Or is kind of like sparking all of this. Like... There's the lovers, Gemini energy. And then bottom of the deck, death, Scorpio energy. So I feel like this is happening after some sort of ending. We have the Ten of Swords, death, both cards about difficulties, endings. Yeah, and then the Eight of Cups. So I don't know if this is a separation that already happened between you and this person. Or if um, someone is walking away from something, ending something in their own life. And they're headed towards you now. I, could, I see both ways here. Tell me about the Empress. Why is the Empress here? Why is the Empress here? There's the tower. I'm telling you, I felt it. <laughs> the minute I started this reading, there's something else here. Towers are disruptive. Shocking. Tell me about the Empress, the Queen of Cups, King and Queen of Cups, King and Queen of Wands, the Emperor and the Empress are here, all divine, divine counterparts, the Chariot, Cancer Energy, and the Page of Wands. Okay, so Page of Wands, the Chariot, the, the Tower, I'm getting like someone just shows up, Libra, like someone just shows up. They take the risk to just visit you, appear, make a move here. That's like King of Wands energy. It's almost like someone's like, okay, I'm going to act on this. There's love here. The Queen of Cups, King of Cups, Page of Cups, the lovers. There's a strong connection here, an undercurrent, you know. It's like they're, all these pairs happen to be here. You get one more. Now, when it comes to action, I feel like the action is really these pages, messengers, right? The tower and judgment tell me that there's some something disruptive happening. Um, when this person shows up, if they're visiting you like abruptly, it's like an ab abrupt visit. <laughs> if that's what's happening, I feel like there's going to be almost like a like a shocking energy there, or something like. You know, it's it can't be ignored, whatever is happening. Someone could be having a realization about their feelings or wanting to make a move, a judgment call on something to do with this connection because we have judgment with the lovers. What else do we need to know about this connection? Soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. And this could be the one. Are you freaking kidding me? I feel like this is someone that you will be with. Like you will end up with this person. Chemistry at the bottom of the deck. There's a connection here. There's an attraction here. And, and a surprising element as well. All those major arcanas, major shifts in energy, guys. So it's very exciting. Whatever's happening, like it's very exciting. Look at all these major arcanas. Like I could just keep going here. Look at this, like most of this spread is all major arcanas. But there's also an element of uh, ending. Uh, so either something ended between you or something is changing, ending now for one of you. You know, take it as it resonates. But I feel like this could be the one. Whoever this is, there's, there's a chemistry here, soulmate energy, something very different. Okay, what do you need to know about this situation or this person, Spirit? What does Libra need to know about this situation or this person? What do they need to know, Spirit? What does Libra need to know about this situation or this person? What do they need to know?
Judgment again. Three of Swords. And the Nine of Cups. The High Priestess again at the bottom of the deck. So, I don't know. I feel like this is going to be... I, I keep getting the word disruptive. So, it's almost like you're minding your own business. And this happens to you. <laughs> um, I wonder why the Three of Swords is here. Let's see. Spirit, tell me, why is the Three of Swords here for Libra? The Six of Cups. So there's already a, a past. I feel like there was already a history here. Now, for some of you, this is a past life connection. So you've never met in this lifetime. And for others of you, this is a soulmate that you have history with. There, there's been pain in the past. But they are who you are meant to be with. The Nine of Pentacles. Okay. Knight of Swords. So I feel like there's going to be some sort of um, contact from this person. We had the Page of Cups previously, the Page of Wands. That, you know, abrupt visit energy that we got as well. Tell me about Judgment. Why is Judgment here? Wow, the Emperor with the world. Holy crap. So Judgment leads to the world. A new beginning, a new start, a new cycle. And it's because of this person. Yeah, Queen of Pentacles is here. I don't sense this is you specifically. And the Six of Swords is at the bottom of the deck. So there's that like departure, walking away energy. Six of Pentacles, okay, hold on. Tell me about the Queen of Pentacles. My deck wants to talk. Tell me about the Queen of Pentacles, please, Spirit. What do we need to know? Five of Wands. See, I feel like this is a... Uh, yeah, and there's a tower. There's something else here with another person. Not necessarily that they have to be a romantic partner. They could be a family member, a co-worker, a boss. Past partner. Friend, etc., etc. But there's issues here. Then the tower, I feel, is like part of this. But the Ace of Cups is after the tower. So I don't think this is terrible. Like, I don't think that this is like doom and gloom. But there's definitely like a little bit of like an obstacle here. And maybe that's why the Three of Swords and the Five of Wands showed up. And so that's what you need to know about this. That it's not going to be all butterflies and rainbows. But um, I feel like this is not going to be so difficult that nothing happens in the end or that nothing improves because the nine of cups is here as well this is wishes granted this is satisfaction this is feeling fulfilled why is the nine of cups here queen of cups i feel like that is you tell me about the nine of cups five of pentacles yeah so whatever this is um I feel like there's going to be an exchange. Page of Swords, Knight of Wands, there's that like message again. Someone's gonna be taking a risk here. There's the Fool. Someone's gonna risk, take a leap of faith or risk in reaching out here in having this contact. Page of Swords, Knight of Swords. They're gonna talk to you. That's what you need to know. That there's contact communication coming in. But also you need to know that there's more going on behind the scenes that you than you might realize and that is going to affect whatever happens between you and this person however i don't feel like it's something that can't be overcome or that can't be addressed there might be an exchange here i feel like of uh, astrologically a lot of the signs are going through this you cannot have it all something has to give Thoughts and expectation. Okay, so yeah, a message at the bottom of the deck. Someone is thinking about you enough to message you. And with the expectation card, I'm getting almost like someone sees you, notices you, or is thinking about you waiting on them or waiting for them to reach out. 